So, I had my camera with me because I was going to try and show you these, these two great houses that decorate like crazy for Halloween. One of them isn't even decorated yet. So, I guess he'll do it this week. He does it every year. But, uh, anyway, so I thought you, I'd bring you in here. We got the Iowa going. First thing we do in the morning, <laughs> put on the music. I made a kind of a Frankenstein system out of it. I have uh, a CD player that doesn't work. I'm using that as the power amp for the Iowa. And it works very well, like that, so. <clears throat> I have Friday off, so. <coughs> Having Friday off is a great thing. We'll have a long weekend, do some fun things. Oh, listening to a signed copy of Scott Huckabee's Secret Portal. Here's how we did the shelves. That bell I got in the thrift. The horsey. <laughs> I showed you him. Some other stuff here. Here. Very fun. And of course, my board is up now, so all the pictures are on it. We have the cauldron with the candy. We have the sitting, little sitting table there. Very, very fun. So, it's Monday morning. Let us start our day. Hi guys, and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday night, it is cold, it is raining. And um, one of my viewers, New Wave Girl, wanted to see my button makers. So I thought I would show you those tonight on this cold and rainy night. Um, these are Tech Ray, uh, button makers. This is the 225 and this is the 125. They're really good heavy duty button makers. I love these button makers. So let's make some buttons and show you how easy they are. These actually already come, mine anyway did, came already mounted on a wood base, which is really good because these things are heavy and the bases keep them very, very solid. Um, these are very, very fun button uh, machines. They're very easy to use and they make beautiful buttons. So what we're going to do is take a disc, drop it in, take a picture. Let's do, um, let's do a, a Rockabilly Frankenstein. He's cute. Put a Mylar on top. You see that? Put that on top. Spin it around. Pull the lever down, place a pin back right here, spin that around, pull the handle again, and there's your pin. Very, very fun, very easy. So there's our Rockabilly Frankenstein. Let's do, um, let's do Zachary. Sometimes, um, see, there, you ha there are circle cutters out there, but sometimes, um, you gotta cut them out yourself, and, uh, I sometimes cut them a little bit too big, even though I trace the mylar, you know what I mean? So, uh, cut inside, try and cut inside your line when you uh, trace around the mylar because you want the picture to fit really pretty well in there. Spin exactly around, pull your handle, put your pin and there is a beautiful button exactly look at that very fun all right let's make a couple of big ones because i got some good big pictures here 
<clears throat> All right. Take a shell. Make sure you only have one shell. It's really important because they do stick together. Um, let's do this one. This is one of my favorites. I made a few of these already. I love this image. Frankenstein. Put a mylar on top. Same thing. Spin it. Pull the lever. Get a pin back. Place it in. Make sure it's nice and straight. Spin back. Pull it. And there is our button. Isn't that awesome? Let's see what else we cut out over here. Make sure we have one. Um, let's do another Rockabilly Frankenstein. This one's really, really cool. This one has to be cut down a little bit. I do have a three inch circle cutter somewhere, but I don't, I'm not sure where it is right now. Um, Mylar, spin, pull. Put your pin on. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Look at Frank, Rockabilly Frankenstein. I love that. I love Frankenstein anyway. And with the Rockabilly look, <clears throat> very, very cool. Um, let's do, how about the bride? Give Frankie a girlfriend. She could actually be cut down a little. They're beautiful. They're perfect buttons and they're so easy. This machine, I've had these machines for about, I'm going to say, at least, at least 10 years. And they are really, really awesome. I highly recommend them because there are a lot of plastic uh, handheld uh, button machines on the market and I just don't see how that would be feasible. This is so heavy duty. Very fun. So that's my button makers, Tech Ray 225 and 125. I love them. I think they're really, really great. They make very um, professional buttons. Um, really, really nice quality. You can get the parts just about um, anywhere. I get them on eBay. I get them from sellers on eBay. Let's try. Uh, let's do a um, uh, Gallardi pin. That's fun. So the, um, if you buy buttons, button parts from like a badge a minute seller, Gallardi, very fun, um, from a badge a minute seller, you have to specify standard, standard, or tell them what, um, what machine you have, because this takes a standard two and a quarter inch button. Some of the other ones take two and three eighths, so, but the tech rays take it, take an honest Two and, a half, uh, two and a quarter inch button, so they're called standard. So that is really fun. So I just wanted to show her those because um, she was looking to buy one, I think. And I uh, highly recommend the Tech Rays, they're very heavy duty. I couldn't tell you where I got mine now, 
because I've had them for so long. I, I know I bought them online, but I'm not real sure where that was. Um, I mean, if you were, look, I mean, you could make hundreds in a very short period of time. So, very, very fun. Last night I was making the, um, I was starting the hot sauce, the, what do you call it, ghost chili hot sauce that I'm making. And um, it was very, very fun. I had the gloves on, I had the mask on, and my skin was still burning. <laughs> my membranes were still burning. It was really, really crazy. But uh, it is fermenting now. See, I couldn't, I, there was no way I could show you uh, the making of that because it was just so hot. I couldn't deal with a camera and everything. And I, Honest to God, I didn't want to touch the camera <laughs> after touching those hot peppers. So, um, but uh, it'll ferment for five days and then we will be ready to um, uh, mix in the vinegar and bottle it and I'll be ready to go. It looks really good and I have to start every day. So I have to open it and stir it every day, have a towel covering it, and then I guess by Saturday I should be able to um, put the apple cider vinegar in it, blend it one more time really fine, and put it in the bottles. That'll be fun. So anyway, New Wave Girl, these are my button makers. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it gave you some idea of, um, you know, what kind of button maker to get. I honestly recommend these. These are very heavy duty. You can see they're all steel. They have rubber handles, uh, nice grip handles. Um, they have heavy duty springs. Just really, really nice machines. So guys, I will talk to you very, very soon. Hey, I have Friday off. So we're going to have some adventures on Friday. I will talk to you very soon. Enjoy the rest of your week. I love you all. Bye.